look at this so bad it's terrible hello everyone and I know that was just so extra of an intro it's me Gabby and welcome back to my channel I am filming this makeup look right here which is basically I did a photo shoot not too long ago and I did do my own makeup and I was like maybe I should film a vi video the people who want to do their own makeup at home for their photo shoots and not necessarily go get it done so this makeup look I came up with for I guess anyone that does uh, any type of photo shoot, whether it's boudoir, bridal, engagement, maybe you're getting a divorce and you want to look slayed, you know what I'm saying? So I came up with this makeup look. I probably did a little bit more than the usual person probably wants for their picture. I do think that you do need to do it just a little bit extra so that it does show up in pictures. I think pictures dim down the makeup just a little bit more. So if you just touch it up just a notch, you can take from this away. You can stop at certain points. You can add a little bit more. Before we get started, I would like to remind you to hit that subscribe button below. Click the bell for notifications for whenever I upload a new video and let's get this to tutorial started. Dis me when I wake up and I've had two cups of coffee and I'm ready to go. Okay, so first I like to moisturize my skin. I'm going in with Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is my favorite daily moisturizer at the moment and I like to let that seep in while I do my eye makeup. I'm going in with some lip balm. This is Smith's Menthol and Eucalyptus Balm. And I'm just going to prep my lips while I do the rest of my makeup. Then for primer today, I'm going in with Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. This primer, I like to focus in the middle of my face and then push the rest of it towards the out part, outer part of my face. It does become a little bit tacky. I don't know if it's very illuminating, but it is pretty good at grabbing a hold of the foundation. I'm going to first prime my lids and give them an even base. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just putting two dots on my eyes. And then I'm going in with the e.l.f. Concealer Brush and I'm just going to buff that into my eyelids. To set that, I'm going in with It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And this is going to set that concealer so that my shadows go on extremely smooth. Then I'm taking this Naked Heat Palette. The first color I'm taking is the color Chaser on a scone blending brush. The next color out of the palette I'm taking is the color Sauced, and I'm going to also place this in my crease as a transition color. Next color I'm taking is the color Low Blow, and I'm changing brushes to a Morphe M411 brush. And I'm going to just really pack this color on the outer V of my eye first. To make sure all of that is really smooth, I'm going back over it with a Moda Pro crease brush. This is the BMX 430 and it is clean. Then I'm going to deepen up my outer V just a little bit more. I change brushes again to a Morphe E18 brush and I'm taking this Winky Lux palette in this brown shade. You could easily stop where I was before I play, applied the brown but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a smoky effect so I'm just packing this on again on the outer part of my eye and then I'm taking that M41 brush, brush again and just making sure that everything is really blended. So you can use the scotch tape method on the outer part of your eye, but I like to just be messy and then clean it up with a makeup wipe like this. It just helps me not have to put tape on my eyes and it's just an easy way to make sure that everything is clean and even. 
And for my lids, I'm going in with some MAC pigment. I think this is the name Kichita Kitches or something like that. Or Kitchens Kitches. I don't know. This is my MAC 242 brush. And I am taking my MAC Fix Plus after I get some of the powder on it or the pigment. And then I just place that on my eye and build it up to the intensity that I want it. And then I'm going to take that Morphe brush that I used with the brown shade and just kind of blend it in just a little bit more to make sure that everything looks seamless. Okay, so you could have easily stopped there, but I wanted to take it a step further because I'm extra like that. And I'm using Stila Cosmetics Kitten Karma. This is their metallic shadows. I love these. All of the shades are so beautiful. And I'm just pushing it in with my finger to blend it out a little bit. Then my camera kind of went blurry, but I'm just taking a Urban Decay Perversion eye pencil in the color black. And then I'm taking a Morphe Flat Definer brush. This is their M432 brush. And I'm just going to basically go over the liner with the shape of the brush towards the outer part of my eyebrow to give myself a wing liner. I feel like this is a little bit easier for you guys to do rather than just applying a wing liner. You can just kind of use the flat part of the brush and the brush just does it for you. So you pretty much can just apply the ugliest line of the pencil first and then smooth it out by pulling your eye taunt. This is probably the most important thing for you to do is to make sure that you stretch your eyes outward a little bit and lift your eyebrows at the same time. And that's going to help you get the full shape and make sure that everything is even. Then I'm going to line my inner top waterline only and then I'm going to curl my lashes and give them some mascara. I'm going to prep them for falsies. You could just do mascara if you like, but I like lashes with this look, so I'm going with Tardis Tarte Mascara. Lashes that I'm using are Iconics. These are my favorite at the moment. Okay, so I'm doing some crazy things right now. I really wanted an all over glow up under my foundation, and the only thing I really had is Sunlight by Cover FX. It's their liquid drops. But I blended it out with a sponge, and it worked perfectly. And right now, I am about to apply my foundation. I'm going in with Urban Decay's All Nighter Foundation in the shade 7.0, and I'm also taking Milani's foundation and concealer foundation in the shade creamy vanilla and I'm going to pounce this all over my face and as you can see this this combination worked out so well I don't know my skin looked so dewy when I was done I was just kind of amazed for my concealer, I didn't really have a good one to use with this shade since I am self-tanned, but I'm going in with Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium, and then I'm going to add a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light just to highlight up under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, chin, and a little bit on my forehead. Right now I am cream contouring. I'm going in with the color Beautiful Bronze by LA Girl. These concealers are very inexpensive and I love this color specifically for contouring. This is also my favorite contour brush to blend that out with. It is the Morphe E8 brush. And um, I basically just do this very messily, messingly. I don't know, I'm just really, really messy. It looks like my face is dirty, but then I go back in and highlight on top of it and blend it out just a little bit more and then it looks really, really good and nice when I'm done. 
Then I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder to set under my eyes. First, I like to make sure that there is no creasing with my Beauty Blender, and then I make sure to set it right after that. After I make sure my whole face is set with some powder, I'm going in and doing my brows. I'm only using my Bold Brows by City Color in the shade Medium, and I'm going to take the darkest shade and just start by lining up under my brow line first, and then as I go through, I use this spoolie to make sure that everything is fully blended. And then I'll take the lighter shade in the palette and work it towards the front of my brow. For contour, I'm using my Lorac Contour Palette. I'm taking the medium shade and the darker shade, and this is an e.l.f. tapered brush. Very inexpensive, but I do love to bronze, and to clean up my contour, I'm going back in with my loose powder, and I'm going to just run that right up under where I think that the line should be. Looking kind of crazy, but that's cool. And I'm going to go ahead and dust away the powder up under my eyes. And then I'm going to contour my nose using the light shade out of the contour palette. And this is just a Luxie 207 brush. And I'm just going to contour my nose and then I'm going to clean it up with some more powder. I'm going to take that light highlighter shade out of the Lorac palette also and highlight my brow bone with it. I'm also going to highlight my inner corners of my eyes with that. Then I'm taking the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette highlighter and this is just a no-name highlighter brush and I'm going to make a C shape around my eyes to highlight. I'm in love with this highlighter shade. It's so pretty. Then I'm going to take just a no-name concealer brush and make my exclamation point for my highlight on my nose and I'm also going to highlight my cupid's bow. Then I'm going to take just a pencil brush in that same brown color that we used on my lids and run it on my lower lash line. And then to make my eyes just a little bit bigger, especially in pictures, I'm taking this NYX crayon in the shade Milk. And I'm going to just run this on my actual waterline on the bottom only. And that's just going to help open my eyes up a little bit more. Then I'm going to take that same black Perversion Urban Decay pencil and only focus that on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that Morphe Flat Definer brush and just make sure that that is smudged and smooth and clean looking. For my lower lashes, I'm coating them with Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. And this is my favorite lash mascara, only for my lower lashes. I like the wand. I think it just separates a little bit better. And this is pretty much my go-to lip color for pictures or photography. I love something that is close to my natural lip color, so I'm using Sandstorm by... NYX lip pencil and I'm going to kind of color in my lips a little bit with this. I forgot to do blush so I'm going in with Real Hers No Limit Blush Palette and I'm going to give my cheeks some color really quickly. And then I am going to go in with Madeline Lip Gloss by NYX also. And this just keeps my lips very neutral and shiny and big and I am obsessed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you learned something new. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.